again, I'm a political scientist by training, so my bias perhaps is that one of the core things we do in our society through education is give individuals the tools to be good members of their communities, good citizens, good community members, able to advance the public good, really, again, through dialogue with folks who are not like you. So that's one of the higher order values that I think that higher education brings. But we also, of course, have to be sensitive to the fact that our students want to leave and get jobs. So this is the more tactical or practical aspect of higher education that sometimes I think we don't always want to talk about because we are driven by the loftier, more principled goals that drove us into the academy in the first place. But I think we have to be practical and we have to understand that our students um, have to get out and occupy roles in supporting their families. And that's where the, the relevance piece for students, I think, that I talked to comes in. It also means being sensitive to what students nowadays are bringing into the classroom with them. And we've seen, of, of course, over the last generation, so much has changed in terms of student expectations for the, the classroom environment, how they expect to learn, how tech savvy they are, what mediums speak to them. All of those are things that force us to think about learning from a student perspective. So there are folks in the room here who do very advanced work, very sophisticated work in their pedagogies, and I think we're called as instructors and leaders in higher education to continue to look at our pedagogy and how it meets the needs of this contemporary student body and what they're bringing to, into class with them, what kind of skills they bring. And they're different skills, let's face it. They're different skills than we brought into the classroom when we first began our higher education uh, pathway. So that, I think, is important to me. Um, also, I think it's, uh, again, just being practical for, for a moment and recognizing the importance of instructors here is a critical component to our discussion of what makes a high-quality education. You can't have a high-quality education without high-quality, well-educated instructors at any level um, of teaching, and of any level of education. In fact, I, I'll, I'll tell just a short anecdote. Um, I have four children at all levels of the education spectrum uh, this year, and one of them came home, a high school sophomore came home the other day, and I said, gosh, you know, honey, you seem so much happier in school this year. What's the difference? And he got this very sage, you know, grave look on his face, and he kind of leaned in, I thought, this is going to be wisdom of the ages, right? And he said, mom, I realize it's all about the teachers. And I was like, that's right, it is all about the teachers. And so understanding, of course, that a quality education comes from all of us as quality instructors is, is just so critical in, in making sure that we're supportive of faculty um, going forward in a way that produces that kind of stellar, inspired education that we all were the beneficiaries of uh, earlier in our careers. So I imagine we'll circle, we'll circle back to that. Um, I also want to be just really practical and say there are things we know in the field of researching higher education about what works in education. So to be totally pragmatic for a moment, we talk in the industry about high impact practices. So some of you are engaged in these and you may not even know that we call them high impact practices because this is one of the things that PSU is really good at. So high impact practices are those pedagogical or classroom orientations that we know enhance learning. So there's evidence behind the fact that these things enhance learning. And I'll just give you a couple of examples. And those of you who teach at PSU, hats off to you because I know that you all are doing these things. Undergraduate research absolutely helps with retention. It helps with engagement. It builds relationships between students and faculty and that delivers results for our students. We know, of course, writing intensive experience, same thing, it produces results. It's very easy um, in some ways to follow that path, but of course you also have to have the right ratios uh, in order to be able to do that kind of thing. First year seminars and experiences. Um, we have university studies folks here today, 
that are providing those first year experiences in groups of 36 students or fewer, delivers a much um, more intimate experience for those first year students, which at um, an institution like ours, which is filled with first generation students, that kind of straight out of the gate, close contact experience for students is essential to their success and, and their retention in the institution. We can come back to this if there's interest, but what I want to underscore is that there's a lot we can know from the field of research that's, that's in higher education research about the things that we do that produce results and that benefit our students every day. And I think most of us here in, in the room are already participating and practicing those activities. And this is an opportunity for us to hold those up and to celebrate those activities and look for opportunities to do more of those things. So again, thank you all for allowing me to be here today.